Hey folks, it's Chad here at Airstream in Greensboro, and today we are going to do a quick walk of the all-new 2025 Airstream Flying Cloud 25 front bed, and this happens to be the twin bed with the hatch. This is one of Airstream's top-selling floor plans. Let's get started now. All right, folks, it is a beautiful fall day here in North Carolina. So as I mentioned, this is the 25-foot Flying Cloud. Now, it is one of Airstream's top sellers. The next one's gonna probably be the 27 foot. And I think we have a video of that. If we do, we'll link it above somewhere. One of the things that makes the 25, uh, I think popular and unique is its length. So it's gonna measure in total length, uh, 26 feet and two inches, which means you can get into about any RV park, including your state parks. And that's probably why this is one of their top sellers. And you'll see on the inside also why it's probably one of them. You are going to have the propane tanks there at the front, those two 30 pound tanks. This one has the optional uh, lithium battery package. Of course, you're going to have solar guards on the front as well as rock guards on the front. And an awning that is going to go basically as far as it can from tip to tip to give you the most room possible. And of course, we have storage in the front as well. Now remember, we'll do a full in-depth video of this unit, so make sure you're subscribed. And if you're wanting to see all of the uh, crevices throughout the whole unit, <laughs> come back for the in-depth video. Laura's laughing at my comments. I love the port windows that you get on the Flying Cloud. That vent does actually exhaust over the you know from the oven from cooking. And then this has, as I mentioned in the intro, the uh, somewhat popular hatch. It used to be more rare than it is now. We get more of them with the hatch, but um, it's basically a $7,700 MSRP upgrade um, or option for the Flying Cloud. You can also get it on the International. You do have a really nice screen that comes down to block out all of the bugs. It is one of those options where I kind of feel like you have got to really want it to justify the almost $8,000 price tag for it. And then we do have a standard backup camera you're going to see up there, all LED lights. And it does have storage in the bumper here, as well as a um, cover on top there. So you're able to step on the bumper to go into the hatch there. We've got smart plugs there in the furnace. Both of these windows are going to open. And then this also has the optional window awning package here as well. So you'll have it on the back and out here and it comes out giving you about you know three feet or so of coverage. And then this has the solar package as well. And then we're going to have our city fill, our black tank flush, our potable water there, our shower, outside shower, both hot and cold water. And then all of your tank valves are right here in the middle, which is one of the things I think that makes this floor plan kind of nice is it's not all the way in the back and all the way in the front. It's in the middle, which, which makes hooking up a lot easier. And then we have some more outside storage. With it being a twin bed, we're going to get more storage on the outside than you would with the queen bed. Um, although with the queen bed, it is a little bit easier to get to the outside storage because it's just this one side instead of having that center um, storage right there. Now let's go inside and check out the inside. I'm not going to talk about the door. We'll do that in the long video, in the in the in-depth video. So come on inside to the 25 foot. Now this happens to also be the same floor plan that Lauren, ha uh, Lauren and I have as well now this is a 2025 model ours is a 2020 model can you believe that there's five years now or five model years now between this one and ours that's i cannot <laughs> believe that that's crazy so the 25 foot and the 27 foot are going to be very similar in that they've got kind of this living space with the dinette here i'm gonna have laura come over that way so we can see kind of the space so you got this dinette here, and then of course all of these windows are going to open, so you can have a big panoramic view. And we've got these two windows here. Oh, and now I said these open. These outside windows don't open. The center window opens, but the blinds will open, so you have a really good view. These windows actually open, and then you got the nice port windows there. We're at 12 volt TVs now that are smart TVs for 2025. They went bezel-less, so the top section is going to be bezel-less. We have this nice metal accent at the bottom, which I really like. And then in the kitchen area, we're going to have a nice stainless steel surface mounting sink here with the little cover right there. We have a nice residential faucet. We're going to have great storage above throughout with soft, soft clothes. And then this is that vent that I was talking about that does vent to the outside. You'll have a three burner stovetop right there. 
and then a black instead of a stainless steel. I'm not sure because why they're doing this, but we're getting some with black microwaves and some with stainless steel microwaves. I have no idea what's going on there. <laughs> We've got the pull-out pantry right there. You're going to have an 8 cubic foot 12 volt refrigerator right there. And then we do, we do have a single wardrobe there. If you go with the 27 foot, it ends up being a double wardrobe. And then a nice shower, which is large enough for, for me to fit into it. It is definitely not a two-person shower. And then we're going to have a really nice appointed bathroom with the controls for your tankless water heater. You also have the mirror there that kind of an odd angle, but it does work. And then you have sports behind it right there. If you want to see me sitting on the commode or standing in the shower, come back and see that deep dive video that we'll do um, shortly. We'll be posting shortly. And then this is the twin bed. So you can do this as a queen bed. The queen bed is going to go east to west. There's a little bit of room to come around the edge of that queen bed if you opt for that. But really, whoever's on the inside, or I guess outside in this case, if you're getting up at night to go to the bathroom, let's be real, most of us have to go to the bathroom at night, uh, you're going to have to shimmy down and try to kind of come around and then get to the bathroom. You like that? I did. Yeah, that's feet walking. Um, but if you get the twin bed, it's very easy. You can lay down easily come up and walk right to the bathroom and you don't disturb your partner now it is two separate beds uh it's two separate twin beds so you know something to take into consideration if you're wondering what's in this huge bag or box it's just going to be all of your pillows and your comforters and then we do have a little bit of storage above there uh on the twin bed you get this nice little wardrobe right there i call that the his wardrobe all right we're going to move back to the front let me just say, if you've watched this video and you liked it, click that like button. If you didn't like it, well, you know what to do there. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, click the subscribe button. Remember, my name's Chad. I'm here at Airstream in Greensboro, a Blue Compass company. And if you're in the market for an Airstream, be sure to reach out. All of my contact info is down there in the description. Also, be on the lookout for the deep dive of the 2025 Flying Cloud front bed twin. Hope you have a great day. We'll talk soon. Thanks. Bye.